Hi there. My name is Dr. Prakash Kini. I've been practicing gynecologist obstetrician for the past 42 years. I'm a senior at Cloud9 Jainagar branch and also the group medical director of Cloud9 Hospitals. The guidelines to diagnose and confirm polycystic ovary is one by blood test laboratory investigations and the ultrasound scan helps in clinching the issue. When these patients come to the outpatient department, we definitely ask for a set of investigations which confirms laboratory wise that they are PCOS and we send them also for a primary pelvic ultrasound scan to find out what is the status of the ovaries and the uterus and the lining of the endometrial cavity. Because they have irregular periods, because of the hypomenorrhea that they have, they have cycles which don't come exactly 28 to 32 days. They get delayed by 10, 15, month, 2 months, at times even 4 months. So when the cycles are irregular, we worry about what is the cause behind this irregularity and therefore we would do a pelvic scan wherein we'll find out if she's pregnant or not firstly and then the status of the ovaries. Normally the ovaries in PCOS patients are very bulky, quite huge very easily detectable on an ultrasound scan and the classic picture is the presence of small cysts at the periphery of the ovary which diagnoses it the patient to be a PCOS patient. Very easy to do, very simple, non-invasive, relatively cheap and you can get a proper diagnosis confirmative to laboratory investigations profile that we do for these patients.